I'm honored just to be here to talk about Chief Russell Walker and particularly this Distinguished Service Award because not only did he navigate a successful path, but he did it in such a way of being humble, being professional, being strategic, and always finding opportunities to help others. And I, I just can't think of a more noble cause than that. Yeah, I'm extremely honored and thankful to have met Russ Walker. He changed my life. You know, his leadership, his drive, his dedication to service, his just warmth as a person. When you work in this organization, Russ was the type of person that had your back. He would take care of you. He wouldn't stab you in the back. You know, and you need a person like that that you know you could trust. Not just for me, he was that person for almost everybody he encountered. He was mature beyond his years, and I looked up to him as a mentor as far as, you know, his positive outlook on life was way ahead of the rest of us. Russ was a, a person of good faith, and I think that faith allowed him to have a lot of empathy for people. Wasn't into making people feel bad. He didn't like that. He really didn't like that. He fostered mutual respect, and that's important as a captain or a supervisor, as a leader in a team, especially in public safety. Our schedule for three or four years in the early 70s, we were two of us in a tower, and Russ was always there for me, reliable, I could depend on him. And uh, one of these busy days at Zuma, it was a big swell, and there this family entering one of the most dangerous areas on the beach, and we ran to that area, and before we could get there, they were swept out through the surf in the rip current. And Russ and I, we hit the water, the mother, hair in her face. The father was still panicking, and, and I remember Russ just in a strong, loud, but calming voice, just said, everybody, it's gonna be okay, just hold on. And I just, I just how Russ just, if, with a strong and authoritative voice, but calming, calming. Everybody calmed me down. Such a good individual, a good man, good father. And uh, I know from experience shoulder to shoulder in the tower on the beach, I know he's a great lifeguard. And, and it hurt and I miss him and I, and I wish he was still here. I was able to look at Russ in his careers as a lifeguard chief. And I can only imagine the challenges that he went through as an African-American man in an environment that probably culturally was not accepting. Definitely, I had never seen a black lifeguard at that point in my life, let alone a black chief. When Russ and I met, we it took us a few days of working together in a tower before we let our hair down with each other. And, he admitted to me that being the only black guy in his rookie class uh, as a lifeguard was a challenge. Uh, tremendous, tremendous kudos for him to be able to go through that and not only become one of us, but become one of the best of us. They said he was kind of like the, the Jackie Robinson of lifeguarding. And he was the Jackie Robinson of lifeguarding. I mean, he paved a way for himself, which I can only ima imagine because he navigated that through uncharted territory. But then he was able to do that in a way that others could follow him. And then for me being on the fire service side and being the highest ranking African American at that time in the fire service, that gave me inspiration to be successful. And in many instances, when I was challenged, I needed guidance, I can call Russell because he'd already gone through it. And so that was very motivating and very beneficial and the trajectory of my career. And hence, I'm now here as the fire chief in part because of my relationship with Russell Walker. A Chance for Children's motto has always been exposure creates reality. Russ had that same motto in the way he lived his life. Whenever he would come and, and serve with us and help with us, he would bring the whole clan. <laughs> his daughters helped, they would come spend the week at camp, his wife would help. What he saw happening at Camp Baywatch with all those kids, those marginalized kids coming from all over the world and being able to take part in the beach, that was Russ's vision, that those kids would wind up as professionals in the, in the 
in some area of aquatics. I remember Russ walking out on the deck in his chief's uniform and all the kids looking at him. See a man of color in uniform and he's the chief and he's my boss. You could see the wheels turning and the doors opening. You could just hear it. Uh, it was fantastic. He got it before anybody else got it and how he could influence all those other people of color who didn't realize they could come into a white world and make a difference. I can't think of a better guy for this Distinguished Service Award. Well, the water program which Rush Walker created um, goes out to the inner city and brings kids to the beach and teaches them how to surf, sail, kayak, and gives them an experience of the ocean environment. That was Rush's vision. And then recently, in the last couple years, we've uh, created a, a WEAR program, and that program directly goes to the inner city and we go to pools that are year-round pools and we go out and test swimmers that have the potential to be lifeguards and get them into our junior lifeguard program, which is huge. And that's part of Russ's vision is to go out and share the gift of lifeguarding to others. The legacy of Chief Russell Walker is historic and history is important, particularly when you think about the current affairs in our country right now with uh, civil unrest and protesting and rioting and looting, and I, and I don't really advocate for all of those things, but I, but I understand it. And it's important to always think about people like Russell Walker, because not only did he pave a path, but he did it in the right way, and he tried to implement processes, um, policies, and an environment for people to become successful. And we can never forget that because if we don't understand our history and keep our finger in the post, it will, repeat, it will repeat itself. So this award that we're giving to Chief Russell Walker is important because not only does it solidify his legacy, but also there's a story about a, a man that stood up to adversity and was able to create not just an opportunity for himself to be successful, but opportunities for others to be successful and when anyone ever gets into a position like Russell Walker did, it's important to always remember his story. It's important to always do things like he did and always put a hand out to reach out, to lift somebody up, to pull someone up and help them become successful also. I mean, that's something that is continuously important to an ongoing legacy and the remembrance of the late lifeguard chief, Russell Walker.